No one's here. Just you and me. Come in, come in. Beer? No, thank you. Oh, I agree. Let's have whiskey instead. Packy swears by you. Absolutely swears by you. Yeah? <sighs> you handled yourself well on the bank job. It was fun. Fun? Too much fun. That's always been this family's problem. Fun. Good causes, a good laugh, some stupid dream or some stupid distraction. <laughs> but never any fucking focus. Never. Hmm. Focus. <sighs> All we've ever been is bitches working for guineas, working for niggas, any asshole with a buck. A whole lot spent in a proper manner. Oh, yeah. Wine and women as quick as possible and remain a slave forever. Very poetical. Yeah, I know. National tragedy. But I got a plan. A down friend. Maybe. What is it? Well, first up, we gotta create a little problem between the Ancelotti's and their Albanian muscle for Jimmy P. You're gonna plant a bomb in Tony Black's car. Be rigged to a phone. Then we'll go off when you dial a number. I want it to blow when they get back from their meeting. So the Ancelotti's think the Albanians did it. <laughs> exactly. Bombs in an alley off of Inchin Avenue. Get it? Give me a call. You know, Packy was right for once. I'm glad you're on board. <sighs> Let's go to E. Where's my nigga Gerald? I got the bone. What the fuck is this one? I got the bone, my motherfucker. Taxi, baby. That's my motherfucker. W-M-W-O-R So, Jerry, I got this bomb. All right, listen, the Ancelotti's and the Albanians are meeting in Little Italy. Tony's car is parked in an alleyway off of Feldspar Street. Now, you put the bomb in the trunk, then follow the wise guys from their meeting back to the rest of their crew, then you blow the bomb. Make sure no one walks away. It's easy, right? So easy, I don't see why you ain't doing this yourself. Nico, I wouldn't trust myself with this. You ain't got a gallon of whiskey in your system, and besides, you're being paid, ain't you? Call me when it's done.
us or what? The Albanians know they got us over a barrel, Sal. At least it's better than dealing with those fucking drunken Irish bastards, though. Forget about it. <laughs> Forget about it. Man, that fucking show, bro. It, I don't know why, but that show is popping up in my goddamn mind. Recommend it.
just specifically for the most of the game. Oh, fuck. to love this crew real hard. Everyone got taken down. The rest of them should think the Albanian muscle is making a play. Yeah, I knew my brother would put his faith in a bum. They'll be at them elbows in no time. That's step one of the plan's complete. Come see me. We'll talk about step two. Sit back and enjoy the ride. I want to go to Move Savannah it. Avenue. I'm starting to freak out in here! Here we are. It's a wrap. Oh, there he is. <laughs> the sophisticated European. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> so, how are you? All right, yeah. Cage, don't stand there talking to him on the doorstep. Ask him in. Oh, come in. Ma, you remember the boy's friend, Nico? How are you? Good, and you? Put it like this. My boys are out of control. My daughter can't find a man, and my husband is in hell. I'm thinking God moves in mysterious ways. Oh, that's mother for you. Always a joy. <laughs> <laughs> Nico! You made it, huh? Well, I'll leave you to your men's talk. I hope you impress each other. Hey, look at me. Yeah. Yeah. I thought so. You'll do fine. Fine at what? Some gimp work for the Pegarinos. I owed them. Oh, please. I do it myself, but I think I'm being watched by the cops. Someone. I think I'm about to get pinched again. Shit, really? Yeah, it's happened before. I keep seeing the same car watching. All it means is someone's been speaking, we just have to find out who and make them stop. In the meantime, i chill things out for a bit. So, I need your help. Okay. boy. Come on, I got something to show you. Now, Pegorino's a funny guy. Seems like his main motivation is putting his Guernsey crew on par with the five old families. Ancelotti's being the weakest, he's decided to stir shit up for him. Now the Ancelotti's have an uneasy alliance with some Albanians. They use them as hitmen, thugs, bullies. I know the type. Much like Jimmy DeGuido uses us. So, what you're gonna do is disguise yourself as an Albanian and then go whack Frankie Garone, an Ancelotti longtime capo. Sure. Which Albanian? Uh, this one.
found the big bad monster you were after. Bernie Crane, the muscle Mary? Come on. Fuck you. You think I wouldn't have fingered him in a second if he was your guy? You could have told me he was here. I'm helping you find the man you're after. I'm not some reunite old boyfriend service. Look, I was in the army. I know it gets lonely. I know what it feels like to get close to a man. I'm sure you do, but you said you'd help me. I've already helped you, but I'll help you again. Wait for me to be in touch. Fuck me. I always thought that there was something not quite right about you, Nico. Now that I hear you are friends with Bright Dawkins and Bernie Crane, I know what it is. Stop blackmailing my friends, Dimitri. You do not want to anger me more. Persuade them to give up the contract. We can work together. I will cut you in, Nico. Let's be friends. I made the mistake of working with you before. It's not one I'll repeat. Goodbye.
Bernie, what's wrong? Nothing, sweetie. Oh my god, you're the lucky one. What? You could slice cheese on those puppies. I must be the only slob without cheekbones. I'm thinking of getting implants. But you sounded hysterical! Oh, sometimes I can't bear to be alone. I'm so glad you've come back into my life, even if you did try to kill me. I'm so excited! What are we doing here? We are going to have fun! Fun? Yes! It's a four-letter word, I know, but we can still try. Look, more people want me dead than alive. I'm working for the Mafia. The police and the government agency are both on my case. I kill and steal to scrape together a living so that my cousin can fritter it away online and pay off debts. And all the while, people are trying to kill us. What is fun? Honey, you are stressed. Oh. Goodbye, Florian. No, 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 you don't, Nico. I need you. I need you to come on this boat trip with me. I need to talk to someone who truly knows me. When I knew you, you were training to be a shepherd. And you wanted to be a professional wrestler. <laughs> Actually, maybe it does all make sense. You understand me. Both of me. Come on, Bryce accidentally left the keys on purpose somewhere I could steal them. You drive, I'll work on my tan. My midriff is really pale. All right, let's have fun. Ah! <laughs> I love this type. I love this mission, bro. I love this mission. Head out to sea, sailor. I fuck, I fuck with my boy Nico. I fuck with Nico. I fuck with Bernie Crane. Don't get me wrong. Like, people be thinking that. Nico. Like my life is in turmoil. Bryce is pulling his hair out over this blackmail thing. His wife is getting on his back about yours truly. I think she suspects. It's a nightmare. I don't know how else I can help you. Look how long it took me to find you. I know, sweetie. Let's forget about him and have some F U N. Hey, I think the thing I just hate baby. I ain't seen nobody. This is as good a spot as any. Ahoy, sailor! Cute guys off the starport brow! Mm. Scratch that! Not so cute! Rushni Rusi! Let me see. They don't look like they're on the pleasure cruise. Them. Tell y'all, the nigga that meets you is the motherfucking Dio of the GTA. Bryce's wife is going to freak out about his boat. This was meant to be our fun day, Nico. Why does everything that's meant to be fun have to be so miserable? I don't know. We just got to get these guys or they'll just come back. I told you that there was no time for this. People are after me, and I have to stay alert. You, Bert, are in this too. You have to keep your eyes open. They're wide open, sweetie. I'm focused. 100%. Let's get them. I ain't, I ain't about to say that. You're fucking with That's how I like it. Hit me. Alright, come on, man. I'm gonna do that scary fuck that shit. Fuck that shit, you gotta run away. And he does an unnecessary to the ramp, just to flex on me.
Shining armor! Thank you! I'm sorry our fun day wasn't so very much fun. See you soon! See you. Where you going, man? Take me to Vetulo Avenue. Jill Van Krasenberg and them booty cutters? I'd do something special with that. Here we are. It's a wrap. I told you I'm not gonna go. Brother, I'm supposed to take care of my family. Hey! I'm beyond being taken care of now. Hey! 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 Your brother said you needed a hand. <laughs> Looks like you'll need more than that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh. <sighs> hey! Ah! Wake up, you fucking junkie! I'm awake. I was just wishing you'd leave. Hey! Hey! Sit down. That's pretty good gear. I'm pretty high. Good for you. Okay. Don't get sanctimonious on me. Okay. Why do you do this to yourself? Because it feels nice. Because it feels better to be high than not. Does it stop you thinking? <coughs> it stops you caring. Which is even better. <coughs> so... What do you care about? I care about getting people back who claimed I was a grass. People who used that to steal shit off me. Huh. Maybe that's what your brother was talking about. When they said you needed help taking care of all the business. Sure. I mean... <clears throat> I ain't a saint. I ain't a man of principle. I... I messed up, but I tried. I made a mistake, but I admitted it. We all make mistakes. Exactly! And this guy is still threatening to kill me and my family! What's his name? Uh, uh. Bucky Sligo. Bucky Sligo. I heard he was living in Alderney. Can you get access to police computer? Sure. Find the fuck. Shut him and his pals up. Ugh. Okay. Uh, his pals up. Yeah, another tragic character in this game. You did. Gurgan career, whatever well, Patrick had a fucked up him. Hey Derek, 
Apparently, your guy hangs out at the burger shop in the Alderney. Go check it out. Make sure his boys are there. I want them all to pay. What if he's alone? Keep the police car. He'll see you and think you're taking him down. First thing Bucky will do is run back to his crew. Fucking coward! You'd rather everyone go down than him take a ball alone. Sold me out, didn't he? I guess he did, man. I'll tell you when it's done. So if you were paying attention, my boy uh, Gerald is in jail, and people were trying to theorize who who was that one that got you know what I'm saying that put him in jail and snitched on him. And I, I I think it's I think it was Derek, but I don't think he did it intentionally because if you were paying attention to that cutscene, he was actually um he was muttering about the stuff he did in the past. And if you and if you look at it, the police are sitting right across the street from him, so they're just probably sitting there listening to everything he says. You know what I'm saying? Gathering nature, um, gathering names, information on all the crimes that should be committed, either in Ireland or in America. Probably name dropped the pack here, Gerald, and said, um, you know what I'm saying? They, they just recorded it. It seemed like the most likely reason, because I don't think he would, he would snitch on him, snitch on what you call him, so, you know, snitch on Gerald. To his crew. Yeah. Shit, Bucky. It's the cops. Put your bodies. See, now, I can't lie. This boy Nico is one of the funniest guys in the protagonist. All of these idiots. This nigga is he's just, his sarcasm is off the fucking charts. Let me drift this, Nico. Let's go, Nico. Fucking kill. Fuck, I, I killed the fuck out that nigga. God damn, that nigga hit a whole spin. Have a nice day, ass. I told you not to mess with me. That's a trick, my friend. You already know it. I think 
you cut Sir. because that collateral damage. Nico, Nico, my boy. Good to hear your voice. Good to speak to you, I mean. Derek, you okay? Bucky and this boys are dead. What? Sorry, not off for a second. Bucky dead? Yeah, good. Yeah, a lot. But dead. It's all the same though, is it? Living, dead, good, bad, right, wrong, chalk, shit. I'll speak to you when you're back among the living. 